two years ago and three months, I had a stroke and I was only 42, so I was very devastated at the time. And reason I was 42, I don't know. My family doesn't have a stroke in it. Um, I don't know what happened to me. And um, my doctor says he doesn't know why I had a stroke. So um, as you can see, I'm sort of paralysed in one hand and paralysed in one leg if I don't have my ABO on. So after rehab and uh, um, re, uh, re oh, I can't say rehabilitation for 12 weeks in the hospital, I went home. Before that, I found out I no longer have my licence and that was devastating for me because one thing I knew was in my um, years of driving, I haven't had um, drink driving, I hadn't had anything wrong and that was really, really hard for me to do. Um, so by the end of the year, I thought I have to go for my licence again. So by the end of the year, so in between that year, um, I have um, lots of rehab as well, and I can't stop it, um, and all other stuff. So in my um, car, I have um, Fiona who come along, and she assessed my licence and she said, no, you're, you'd be fine, you can have your licence. So I said, yay! <laughs> <laughs> I have my licence. But I, then I realised that I didn't really have my licence because now I have to get all the stuff on the left-hand side. So um, I have to get... Um, a steering knob on the left hand side. I can't just have a normal car. I have to have um, brake and accelerator on the left hand side, not the right hand side. I no longer to, could have a manual car. I had to have an automatic. And um, so that was a bit of a shock for me as well because I had um, a, or, um, a manual car, so I gave it to my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> then I had to go to Vic Roads again to get my licence done again, because although they had a good licence, on the back they had to go on what I had to do to um, have my licence. So I had to have... Um, a manual um, automatic car, I had to have this and that and blah, blah, blah. So, um, so I also, all right. So I get someone else to drive me up to Vic Rose and get my licence get done again. Um, then um, I, fe I felt like I needed a new car, not my second hand car. So I went up to Ford and tried out um, a Ford Focus. The reason I had Ford Focus, not a Fiesta, because it's too small to fit my um, um, sorry wheelchair in. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. <laughs> to fit my wheelchair in as well. So I had to go up one size and get that. Um, then I had to go to SWEPS in, and see if they can update that and get all that stuff in it. It nearly cost um, $4,000 to get all updated to that. 
So um, that was pretty sad for me because now I know that if one of you said to me, oh, come on, and you drive my car, I said, no, I can't because I won't have all the stuff I need. So that was a bit disappointing, but oh well, that, that will have to do. So when I finally got it from Ford, Ford um, f um, um, when I finally got it from Ford, then I had to go to the mechanic to get it fixed. So finally, on the 1st of July last year, Yay! <laughs> I've got my license. I've got. I can. I can freedom anything I want with my car. Um, I can't help. I can't tell you what that freedom means. To have. To say to get in my car and go where I want when I want. Hooray! So. Um, I, I could take my daughter to work. I could go and visit my parents since them, them coming to visit me. I could go visit friends, etc. So it's just amazing. But two months later, ha having driven my car, I went up to um, the QE and I did my um, swimming. And then I did my speech therapy, and then I had one. Um, I had one more thing I had to do was to get to Centrelink and get the form in, and then I could go home and relax for the rest of the day. Well, in Centrelink, I said I waited for half an hour just to get this form in, and half an hour of standing at Centrelink was not a very good idea. No one came and asked me would I like to see somewhere. So I just waited, waited, waited for half an hour. So at one o'clock I said hooray now I'm going home. But unfortunately I will put it in reverse and I, well, I hoped I backed out. I don't know what I did then, because next thing I know, I was in an ambulance. So um, I don't know how long I was there. I don't know anything. So um, then I come up here to the base hospital. The policeman came and saw me, and he said, you have to have six months of um, driving, six months. Uh, I nearly died. Then I saw the neurologist at the base and she said, no, you have to have six months of driving. Then I went and saw my local GP and he said, no, you have to have six <laughs> months of driving. I said, one, two, three, bugger. <laughs> So I'm devastated. I have to have it six months of driving. So now what does not driving mean to me? For two years now, I haven't had um, my licence. Apart from that two months, I have not had my licence. Every day I wake up and I look out the front window at my car and it's just sitting there. And every morning I say, I miss you, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna come back to you one day, but it's not today. I have the loss of independence again. It was terrible to think I now had to rely on my mum or dad, or my daughter, or my friend Peter, or otherwise a taxi, so it's not very nice. It means the loss of my independence. I, didn't, I couldn't go out anywhere, and I didn't want to go out anywhere. Um, 
I was very frustrated because to think I have my license now and now I don't have it for six months. Um, I was very angry as well because, um, yeah, I missed it. I missed that independence as well. It's very hard to, for me to say to you, um, most of you, I imagine, would have your licence. Um, I, I end up on depression because um, I couldn't rely on my parents every day to come and see me, which is fine. And plus, who wants to see their parents every day? <laughs> um, my children, I've changed the um, thing because my children live in Geelong, so it's only once in a while they get up to see me in Ballarat. And even though they come and see me, they also have 21st to go to and blah, 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 and things like that. So I have to ask for help uh, occasionally. So I have to ask my mum, can you please get my shopping for me? Um, I have to ask um, my friends if they want to, can we go out for a coffee? But I'm sorry, can you pick me up? Um, I have to get a taxi. Uh, fortunately, I have a half price. But it's still a lot of money when you're going somewhere and always in a taxi. So I try not to get taxi every day except for the QE and back. I wanted a scooter like so I could drive myself around. I asked for one um, 40, 15 months ago. I still haven't got it. So in terms of that, I can't really go into the shops and all that because my um, leg won't take me all that way. So it's very hard as well. Each December, my doctor has to say yes or no if I can still drive. So that's another point. So now I'm into seven months of waiting for my um, license back <laughs> and I still don't have it back. So it's nearly four weeks over due and there's no, no news. So it's, if there is a doctor in this house, <laughs> Come and see me later, <laughs> and I'll talk about it. <laughs> Thank you very much.